Hello hockey, basketball, and soccer fans. My name is David. I thought I would start this video at 1.48 on the afternoon of Sunday, 5th of November, 2023, North American Eastern Standard Time. Please note that effective uh, 6 a.m. GMT, um, any part of the Eastern Time Zone that had not been five hours behind GMT is now will be five hours behind GMT until 7 a.m. GMT on the second Sunday of March 2024. Such is life. So please be careful. I mean, it's been a little bit not easy to get used to, but I'm slowly getting used to East, you know, my home time zone being five hours behind GMT rather than four. That means longer, that means more daylight in the morning, but less, you know, later in the day. So, let's see what, you know, on games that took place on Saturday Eastern Time. We have the, uh, yeah, quite a few results that, you know, Canucks end up, you know, beating the Dallas Stars 2-0. Very tight checking game. I didn't watch it very much, but I had it on one of the devices I have. Um, but I was really, you know, really interested in whether the Calgary Flames, then, you know, having gone into this weekend, Eastern Time, riding a six-game losing streak that had featured every single loss in regulation, finally broke through. There's also the Leafs losing streak, now at four, albeit with two points. And no sign of that losing streak ending anytime soon. I may have more to say, you know, via, you know, you know Twitter uh, audio recordings later. I'll think about that. But there's no doubt that, that again, you know, Lee fans get used to possibly seeing our team not seeing playoff action at least until 2025. I embrace myself for that. Because of how bad things have gone. I thought I would refer to a couple of videos. There's one by Shan the Hockey Guy. Um, um, yeah, well, you know, power, so called power rankings video. He bumped the Leafs down to 12th among NHL teams, but still first among Canadian ones. Jets are in the you know, second row, barely though. The Habs and Sens are further down, or in the third row. The, uh, yeah, Habs, Sens, oh, oh, Canucks are the top row. So, yeah, Leafs are, sir, Leafs only have one Canadian team ranked above them in the, you know, ranked above them in the power rankings. Leafs, you know, power rankings by Shannon, the hockey guy. And the Canucks are the top row. Who would have thought? On the other hand, yeah, so Leafs. So Canucks, Leafs, and Jets are, you know, in the top 16 of the NHL. Habs, I believe, 17th. So that's fourth among Canadian teams. We have the Sens fading away a little bit. We play the so. And then at the very bottom, the um, at 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 30th overall and second last among Canadian teams, we have the Calgary Flames. One that ended up. Beating in regulation, the Seattle Kraken. And last among Canadian teams and second last among NHL ones, we have the Edmonton Oilers. So, yeah. I'm uh, going to comment a little bit, you know, and end this off uh, with... Uh, before I go to the uh, the cross-check by Flames winger Andrew Bonjapani on Kraken winger Jared McCann, I'm going to go to games to... Take place uh, later on the Eastern Time. So we have a 3:30 start time to to the Sportsnet broadcast on all regional channels and Channel One uh, of a Raptors road game against San Antonio Spurs. Raptors, this you know, following last preseason, do not have consecutive wins. Do not have wins in consecutive games. So they did win five in a row going back to preseason, but then 
stop game two of the regular season and thus well go figure the Raptors have been a disaster whether they'll go over Texas remains to be due to be determined but Spurs are no pushovers the Mavs haven't been pushovers so I'm not holding my breath that I'm not going to bet on a win of either game the Raptors play in Texas well, at least, you know, the Raptors do get to play the Houston Rockets later in the season, but whatever. I'm not not looking forward to it, but I watched the Raptors for the entertainment value more than anything. You know, and learn to laugh. And the you know, old you know, tweets with, we the South, like, making fun of the Raptors. Hey, it's a good thing to do. I mean, and for Leaf games, often alternatives. The Raptors are Canada's only basketball team, but I know that they're fun to watch. I mean, even if they give up a whole bunch of chances. And uh, 7.30 Eastern Time, the start of a broadcast on TSN. Let's see what on the channel is. So yeah, so that's uh, on TSN Channel 1. I don't believe it's blacked out. There'll be a playoff soccer game. And what, you know, Major League Soccer, Vancouver Whitecaps hosting the defending champion, Los Angeles FC. So this is a must win for the Whitecaps because... LAFC dominated the Whitecaps down at uh, down California 5-2. Should be exciting to watch. But again, if you're cheering for the Whitecaps, I wouldn't bet on a win. I hope to be wrong, but uh, you know if I were, if I were a betting man, if I were a betting man, I would not put my money on a Whitecaps win. And. I'm not one who likes to gamble, other than maybe buy a lottery ticket every now and again. Like maybe every other month or so. But yeah, it's, uh, there'll be, you know, things are not looking good for the others. It was a rough go. And uh, a couple videos from, uh, uh, a couple, you know, not, you know, not feeling too good fans. Uh, you know, from the Dolny TV. And Oilers Fanatic YouTube Men. Who so types in the Dolly TV Man. They don't have to be too happy about this. But. Uh, you know, but the Oilers Fanatic Man claimed to have felt, quote, like absolute garbage, unquote. Well, I don't blame the latter. Because the Oilers played like crap against the Preds, thinking. Maybe there was a tweet made a tweet earlier on Saturday Eastern Time before the game that maybe the others would beat the Preds, and you know, and other than you know beating the Preds and Flames, these others were going to go, were going to be going nowhere. Well, the others didn't even you know come close to beating the Preds. Leafs came close to beating the Sabers, or at least extending game to overtime. But it was a rough go. Joe Wall had a couple of ugly goals that I could count. And I have to question if, uh, if maybe it's time to send him all down to the Marlies. Because he's just not reliable. But again, it may be that at the end of the season, that may be what he, you know, what happens. And that after, you know, if he performs not so, you know, so well, that the Leafs won't give him a qualifying offer. I don't know. It just, it's not good. Whole thing's not been good for the others either. And then I'll think of that video from the uh, from the YouTube woman who goes by Alyssa Hope about players who haven't been performing so good on Canadian teams. I think of you know, I'm thinking about in terms of a lot of Leaf players that haven't been performing too good, but she claimed that well, Nathan Kadri of, of, of the Flames and Stuart Skeeter of the others had not had 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 rough starts. To the regular season. Definitely check out our video. I'm trying to put all the videos up as soon as I can. After I posted this uh, video. So. Uh, I feel like you'll. So if you do like this video. Uh, please make sure to click the like button. Uh, a few centimeters or so. Or a few millimeters below the video. Depending on uh, what device you're reading on. If you want to subscribe to my channel. Please feel free to do so. If you also click the notification bell. You'll receive notes of videos that I... You'll receive more timely notes of videos that I put out. I try to put out videos at least every other week. On that note, I'm going to say... Go Leafs go. 
Go Raptors go. Go Toronto FC go. With respect to the MLS, to the MLS Cup playoffs, go Whitecaps go. And with respect to other Canadian national, national teams, which I cheer, go Canada go.